In the last few videos, we took a look at media queries. And basically, we added all of these rules in our CSS style sheet. And that is useful, of course, if you want to handle certain different resolutions. But you can also use entire new style sheets with media queries. And so that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, of course, we know that we add style sheets in the head element. We talked about that a long, long time ago. And that's where you do it. Basically, you can add a media query for any different type of style sheet you can use. Now, you might ask, well, why would I use a style sheet? Well, if you had a lot of changes, it's really not feasible to put a bunch of media queries in your existing style sheet. So if you have a lot of changes that you're going to make, it's probably better to use an entire new style sheet. And again, you can reference it with media queries. So let's go ahead and we're just going to copy and paste this line right here. And we're just going to paste it right below. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and tweak this code where we can add a media query. So we type in right here, media. And then we just put in the resolution that we want. And in this case, let's go ahead and we'll play with that 400 pixel width again. So we're going to go ahead and use the max width property. It's very similar, by the way, as you can see. So we're going to type in max width. And again, we're going to use a new style sheet when we hit 400 pixels. So everything's pretty much the same. It's very similar. The only difference is you're using a separate style sheet. And then we just close it out. And of course, with the href attribute is where we specify the style sheet. Of course, we're not going to specify our existing style sheet. We're going to specify a new style sheet. And we're just going to call this style2.css. That's it. So that's really all you have to do. Now, we don't need any of these media queries. Since we're creating new style sheets, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the media queries that we specified in our first style sheet. So let's go ahead and get rid of those, and we'll save this. Good. So now what I want you to do is go ahead and close out of our first style sheet. Close that out. And then what I want you to do now is go ahead and create a second style sheet called style2.css. This name right here. And then what I want you to do is go ahead and open that up. And I put all of this code in the description of this video. There's a paste link for it. So go ahead and get that and then place all of that code in your style2.css. And you can take a look. I've tweaked some things here. Basically, I've made the container now 400 pixels. So it will exactly be the length of a device that is 400 pixels wide. I've also tweaked uh, the header. You can see that's 396 pixels wide. You will remember that we have to account for the border. So I subtracted four pixels from the overall width. And that gives us 396 pixels. And then I set the sidebar and nav to none. So we don't even want to display that on this small device. We want to get rid of those. So I set those to display none. And of course, we did that in the last video. And we're going to do it again. I think we just did it for the sidebar, as I recall. But we're going to do it for the nav, too. So we basically set those to none. And then I tweaked the main element as well. And I made that 396 pixels wide as well. So this is an entirely new style sheet. So let's go ahead and save our site1.html. I can't remember if we did or not. And then let's go ahead and open up our web page and see if it works. OK, so there it is. And of course, now we're using the first CSS style sheet, right? The style.css. Well, let's go ahead and minimize this now and see if this works. And it did. Both our side and nav elements are gone. And this is only now 400 pixels wide. It perfectly fits. So pretty cool. Now, I want to show you one aspect of this when you're using multiple style sheets. And in particular, when one style sheet is for the main page and another style sheet, you're using media queries. I want to show you something really quick. So let's go ahead and minimize this. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and get rid of this nav here. We're just going to go ahead and eliminate that. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then let's go ahead and refresh our page. And I want you to see what happens here. And we're going to minimize this. And there's the nav bar. Now you're wondering, well, wait a minute. We have a separate style sheet here. Why did the nav bar display? Because there isn't even an entry here in our CSS style sheet. Well, the reason is it got picked up in the first style sheet, the style.css. So just keep that in mind that this style sheet still gets read in and will still load definitions if there's nothing specified in our style too. Remember, media queries is more like an override. It just overrides the existing style sheet. But if you don't put a display none here for a particular element, the first style sheet will come into play. That's the way it works, provided there's an entry over here in the style.css, which of course there is for this nav bar. So just keep that in mind about how these overrides work. So let's go ahead and we'll set this back. And we'll save this. 
Let's refresh our page and it should be gone. And it is. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.